Okay, shut up. <laughs> Another Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite dynamic duo, Beemars. And Shanti. I read something extra special today, which, which is Caesar, Caesar Veggie Wraps. <laughs> so we have a mix here. Uh huh. Um, the bottom row is Caesar Wraps, right? And then mm -hmm. the top row is like a veggie mix. Just like a veggie hummus wrap. Yes. Yeah. So we wanted to do simple because there is limited groceries right now and um, something healthy. Yeah. And this is what we got. So, I don't know if you guys are experiencing the apocalypse like we are. <laughs> I think everybody is. Is it? Especially by the time this goes up. It'll be... It's crazy because in my mind, like, it's only wide. LA and New York because that's where, like, the you just cities. know an epidemic is going to start because there's the most amount of people. Yeah. And, like, that's the main ports of transportation, like, the major airports, JFK and, like, LAX. Yeah, 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 right. So, my mom always says, like... <laughs> You gonna die first. <laughs> so, Thanks, mom. Yeah, I'm like great. But uh, yeah, if everyone's yeah, feeling yeah as crazy as we are, there's no more toilet paper in all of Los Angeles. There, you've got probably the last rolls. Yeah, today it's crazy because I texted. Okay, we can grab some food before we get into this. Okay, should but, we take our first bite? Yeah. So, is this you, one a Caesar? Um, I think the top one is. Yeah, I think it is. I'll do that one. There's also tofu in these. I'll do a Caesar mm. too. It smells good. Really? Yeah. Colin goes, I made one for Colin. He goes, is this salami? It's like, yes. Yeah. I decided I'm, because of the apocalypse, we are no longer vegan. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Great easy lunch. I yeah. like these wraps. You do? Mm-hmm. Three jobs. I don't fight bitches for these wraps. <laughs> Dude. Took me like an hour and a half to get to. Oh my god, this was actually so funny. So Trader Joe's, I went there twice. The parking lot in, on a normal day is mayhem. I I will never go to Trader Joe's. Like I go because Cairo likes the cat food there. But now that like the grocery stores are crazy, like Trader Joe's is the last one I will go to. Yeah. I would rather die of starvation than go to grocery. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I went yesterday. It wasn't bad. I went today to pick up just some. Like we didn't have any toilet paper. Well obviously we don't have any toothpaste or soap like stocked up like i just have enough for like a week you know mm -hmm. and so i went back to get some more and i went twice literally no street parking everybody was like waiting in like these huge lines like out the street yeah so i parked two streets over and i walked in the rain and i was like this is fine like it'll be fine and then i got so much shit because i was like trying to stock up I literally had like four huge, super heavy bags, and I'm like trucking through the rain, and I had to walk a half mile. Oh my god! Car. It was really sad. <laughs> it's funny because today, me and Max brought like six bags of groceries. Maybe it's crazy that this happened when I was in Australia, because oh yeah, you want to talk about Australia later? Yeah. So the I am so lucky I was able to come back into the country because the travel ban was like yeah, put on a couple of days like after. Mm -hmm. So. But there isn't really that many cases in Australia, so, like, I thought it'd be fine. And then Tom yeah. Hanks, like, reports that he has the coronavirus in Australia, and I was like... I know, but it's really one of the, like, lower lists, like, one of the lower countries on the list. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you want to see what's in it. Mm. It's really good. It's pretty simple. It's um, baked tofu, dressing mixed with, like, lettuce, and then vegan cheese. I don't know where Max got this. It's jalapeno mustard. I want to try that. I don't know where the focus is. Still in my face? It's yeah. so good. Um, anyway, but I joked with Max because when I got to Australia is when I first started hearing rumors about Ultra Music Festival being canceled. Mm. And that was before it was out on the news and all that stuff. Because Ultra is like the first festival pretty much in the season because it's spring break and they kind of all start from there. Like, Is it supposed to be right now? Um, next week. Next week. So once I heard that, I texted Max and I was like, aha, you better go buy some toilet paper. As a joke. As a joke, but I kind of wish he did because yeah. little did we know it was going to like blow up in our faces. Uh -huh. Whenever me or Max are out of town, the other person doesn't really grocery shop because... It's just one person. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. So, of course, as soon as I get back, like, everything just, like, goes crazy. Mm-hmm. 
I went to Trader Joe or I went to Sprouts today. The limes were all the way down the like nut aisles and mm-hmm. like whatever through the store. And so we get it through, and I didn't think about how much groceries we had. Just, like, old lady came up to me. She's like, are you done with your cart? And I was like, yes. Oh, my God. Like, (laughs) stay safe out there. Um, And then Max was like, why did you give your cart away? Like, we have to carry these in the rain. And I was just like, oh, yeah. I got tricked by an old lady. (laughs) Yeah, there was a cart shortage, too. Mm -hmm. Like, every cart was in use. No. There were no carts in spouse. I was just, like, okay, so a week ago, I started watching these prepping videos like survival youtubers and i was like you know what that's a great idea like i should do that and then i just didn't and now i don't have any toilet paper so yeah i'm fucked well it's crazy because like i went shopping yesterday and this was still too late yeah i went when i got home i went grocery shopping but like i mostly buy like fresh produce like vegetables and like maybe if like i know we're gonna make something specific like yeah. we're gonna do spaghetti tonight then I'll buy pasta but I don't I normally don't have pasta just like in my cabinets chilling yeah so the first time I went I just got like vegetables and then I was like and I got a pound of white rice thank god mm. but that's mostly just because you know I love it and then I went back today and like I have friends texting me like oh this mini mart has three three rolls of toilet paper left like da-da-da. like we're all like <laughs> helping each other survive my other friend asked if she could buy some off of me. Who? Marilyn. I was thinking that too. But you're going to need it. No. Yeah, I have one lonely roll of toilet paper left. But I have a bidet, but I really don't like to use it because it is like a power washer. It, it really kind of sucks. Because I'm going to have to, though. I did buy some baby wipes. Like, I was able to get like four packs of baby wipes, but no toilet paper. Did you buy plastic free ones? Baby wipes? What's that mean? Because then you can flush it. Oh, but no. I don't think you're supposed to flush them anyway. Yeah, I don't think you are. I normally, this is kind of gross, but I just put them in the trash. But, like, I just then I just take out the trash right away. No, you're supposed to put them in the trash. Because, really? I just learned that a lot of baby wipes have plastic in it, and that's what, like, clocks out beer mm. sewers and stuff. Because yeah, so I thought it was just wet toilet paper. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't, like, de-com- de-come apart. <laughs> <laughs> de-come apart. <laughs> Yeah, let us know in the comments below what's happening in your hometown. Yeah, I would LA love to is know. going nuts. It's weird because like I went to the gym. Really, I'm kind of scared to go to the gym. Well, like I just didn't think it. I, like I made that. I made a TikTok. You guys, I'm going ham on TikTok. Follow me on there at Mars. But I made a coronavirus <laughs> TikTok as a joke, but it was kind of serious. Like I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh shit! I feel like, am I stupid for not prepping? Like I don't want to be the first one to die. Yeah. So that's when I took it seriously. But there was, like, that's nobody at the gym, and I loved it. Like, I was on every piece of equipment as soon as I walked up to it. Never happened to me in my life. Well, yeah, I feel like up until what was – yesterday was Thursday. Wednesday, life was normal. Like, no one in the grocery stores. Like, thousands of people in the gym. Thursday comes, and it is just, like, the end of the fucking world. Yeah. It is the apocalypse. Um, I feel like when Trump gave his speech, yeah, that's at the same that's time, like forty things came out about like the coronavirus. Like uh-huh. all this news was piling up, and it just like overwhelmed everyone. Yes, I agree. Oh shit! Let's go. So I have a special um, treat. That this is my new favorite thing of all time. Mm. And I brought one for you. I carried this half a mile to my car in the rain. Um, this is a strawberry soda. Oh my god, that's so cute. I know, I'm obsessed with them. They're so good. These are new from Trader Joe's. You probably won't be able to get them for another year, but... Yeah. Actually, they had a couple... They had, like, a lot of these in stock. These are so cute. I know, isn't the packaging so cute? I hope you like it. Mm. Mine feels weirdly, like, empty. Where the f*** did it go? Somebody, like, poked a hole in me. It's like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, I like it a lot. Do you? I'm obsessed with it. It's like a strawberry soda. Mm-hmm. This mustard is so spicy. Yeah, I really like it. Um, I filmed a vlog going grocery shopping in the Mayhem yesterday. Hey. Yeah, so I was planning on posting it tomorrow, which is Saturday. But now I'm like, I don't know, because shit's getting real, you know? I mean, you should post it. People are curious, like... Really? Or is it just kind of like old news? Like, like I, w- I wanted to post it. 
I, I saw some other people's vlogs like shopping in Costco like a week ago and I was like wow it's so interesting but now I feel like it's like old news like yeah nobody has any fucking toilet paper <laughs> mm. but uh, yeah I, I don't know I'm, I still keep looking at everyone's stories like from different grocery stores and different yeah. things and I'm like god damn it that is true it's pretty interesting like seeing how serious it is not only was Ultra Music Festival cancelled which is like my big money maker all the festivals for the, the year, like Abu Dhabi and India was canceled and all Asia. But also the club I work at for my like supplemental income. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that. Is also closed. I didn't Until realize when? further notice. Like if none of, all of us work on tips. Like these are all, you know, managers are like salary workers so they probably don't care, but all of us are like. Ah. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing they can do though. Yeah, so mm -hmm. now I don't have any dance jobs and I don't have a club job. So follow yeah. me on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> All um, TV, what like what is it called? Like film. Any film is all canceled because it's too many people like- Working on a set. Yeah, working on a set, contained. My weekends are canceled because the mom doesn't have any work. All right, so now I am trying the vegetable hummus wrap. Yeah, I'll try that one. Very interesting. This one's really big. Uh, uh, this one has less filling. Sorry, I touched it. Is that gross? No. As long as you don't have the corona. I don't think I do. Do you think you have the corona? <laughs> like, because I went to Australia? Yeah. I don't think so. Maybe I think you be showing symptoms by now. Yeah. It's been a week, two weeks. I don't know, I also was really crazy when I was there. I had like Clorox wipes, I used my mask, I had hand sanitizer. My hands are literally, I've had, I've never had more hangnails in my life than I have now because my hands are so f***ing dry. My hands, my, the skin off my hands is crumbling apart. Mm. Like, this is kind of gross, but already when I wash my hands, like I have really bad eczema that just like flares up randomly. Like, I don't know if you can see like this patch. Yeah, it looks just like raw, like red. Yeah. It will like, in the morning when I wake up, it'll like bubble and like blister and be so itchy. Like it's really weird how it like changes throughout the day. But hand washing is like the worst thing for it because like the water will dry and like take the moisture out. Yeah, like evaporate off your skin. Yes, exactly. So my hands are like really fucking hurting right now. Oh, that sounds so painful. Uh, yeah, I've been carrying lotion in my bag. Like, because mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm dying. Yeah, I slather on lotion all day. But it sucks. Let me know who can relate. <laughs> I hate having eczema. Yeah, I have eczema behind my ears. Oh? Mm hmm And in my ears. It's such a weird... I, like, feel anxious. Like, I wasn't even worried about it. Like, when I was Me at the grocery too. store, I was like... Same. I don't know if it was because I was, like, feeding off of other people, but I just I was like... I got home from the grocery store and I was so freaked out. I was like, what should I do? Should I prep on my food? Should I fucking clean my whole house? Like, I was so, like, worked up about, like, nothing. Like, yesterday I was fine. And then the next day I'm like... Paranoid. I like wasn't worried about it at all. Me too. But then I think about it and I'm like, you know what? Realistically, like if I were to even get it, like I wouldn't, I would be fine. Mm -hmm. But like, like I, I have a know. strong immunity and whatever, but yeah. Mostly what I'm worried about is the economy. <laughs> oh yeah. A hundred percent. Like I personally am not going to make any money this month. I'm no, I'm not the only person like except off YouTube. That's like yeah. our only like thing we have going right now. Yeah, but that money doesn't come in for like until the 20, 22nd. Yeah. On my personal channel, I don't make any money. Should we go back to <laughs> posting twice a week, guys? Uh, let I us know. I don't have to. Yeah. I, I mean, I need you guys while you're at home quarantined to watch our videos. <laughs> and watch the ads, please. We're please, fuck, fuck Jesus. I can't pay my rent. We should start a Patreon. Yeah, we should. Someone but, asked like, me if we had one. And I was like, no. But what would we do on burp? <laughs> mm. Should I start an OnlyFans? <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I was an OnlyFans. That's like the nudie one. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard of OnlyFans and no, you wanted haven't. to do it? Okay, no, I was I like, I see on Twitter all the time, girls are like, I just paid my mortgage with OnlyFans, thank God. I'm like, I've you could have sold your nudes without OnlyFans. Like, there was other ways. <laughs> Not, not that I've always wanted to, but I've thought about it many times. <sighs> I've thought about selling pictures of my feet. Oh, yeah. Like, who really cares? Like, my vagina is for me, but, like, my feet... Here they are. I wear... I don't wear shoes all the time. I thought about selling my underwear. I thought about that, too. 
because I've gotten so many like DMs about it. Yeah. I then you're like, Chat? no. I remember years ago people asking you that, like, mm-hmm. like three years ago, and you were like, no. I was like, do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll do it for you. I was like, just do it. But you know what I was worried about? <laughs> what? This is so stupid. Because the guy wanted me to wear the underwear for like a week or something. It was like disgusting. But then I was like, could he take my DNA and like find me or like something? Like, I don't know why. It is, it is really creepy, but I just thought that they could like find me through my like vagina juice or something. Like, I don't, this is like the stupidest thing. Like someone would find me from like. GPS tracking in it. (laughs) Yeah. Like like, with social media nowadays, like that's what I was, I don't know. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to get creative here. There's so many to see. Yeah. I have a lot of noodles. We should go to 99 cents store after this. It's fucking just Is it bad? barren, but I'm down. If people are going to get love- those Sam Young noodles, I would love to see some white people eat those noodles and not know what they're getting into. Oh, the spicy ones? Mm-hmm. Because they sell those at the 99 cents store. The, yeah. Like, fire ones. I actually stocked up on a shit ton of um, noodles when I went yesterday. I did too. Just as like... Just last- for me. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. I was thinking for like, it'd be good food in the apocalypse, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cup nudes. Cup nudes. Soup. You have any other stories you want to tell? No. So should we post on Wednesdays now? Bring those back? Yeah. Start Patreon. But what do we do on Patreon? Oh, yeah. You know? Just have like an extra extra video. Mm, I don't know if we can do three. Yeah. That's a little too much. We've got a lot to figure out. Yeah. In the meantime, we'll TikTok. But TikTok doesn't pay you. Um, if you get as big as Charlie D'Amelo. <laughs> D'Amelio? I, really I don't know how to say her name. D'Amelio. <laughs> when I went to the grocery store a couple of days ago. Oh, after I got my car washed. I went to um, the one next to Blink. But I called oh. it Pavilions. <laughs> Pavilions? And I called Max. I was like, hey, I'm going to stop at Pavilions. <laughs> Is there anything neat? He was like, Pavilions? And I was like, who knows? And he's like, no, everyone knows. I was like, you can see my status because I've never been able to go to Pavilions before. Why? Is it expensive? Mm-hmm. Really? I think so. I go to that one like last minute to like, get stuff. Like if we need something for a bang, I'll run in there. Because it's like in the middle. Yeah, it's like real close. <sighs> well, it's the end of the world. If we become quarantined as a country, can we still go to each other's houses? I don't know. I was thinking that. If it's the, like, can we have like an apocalypse party? You know, I do have a lot of beer left over from my Christmas Your party. party. Do I have something on my lips? No, I feel something on mine. No. So I was thinking about having a doomsday party, but then I was afraid that one of the people in my party would have coronavirus, you know? I was thinking that too. I was like, I want to invite my friends over if they're going to infect my house. I mean, if anyone's at risk, it's, it's me because I just traveled. You were just tra- yeah, <laughs> totally. And then I'm going to die also. Yeah. Max, <laughs> Max was like, kisses me and he's like, I'm like, this is a great feeling. Yeah. This is really great. <laughs> no, I feel like you would be showing symptoms by now, maybe. I think. Which reminds me, when we made the wrap, the spring rolls, uh-huh. there's just so many vegetables. I feel like I'm just chewing. I was thinking that too. So long. <laughs> but I wanted them to be pretty. Mm-hmm. Here, I'll eat this big fat one. Um. So let us know what you guys want oh, to make. Oh, do you want some uh, No, it's okay. Oh, shit. We got a lot of um, free time to kill. This will be my first time not working in a weekend for like... Six years. <laughs> okay, I took last weekend off because I hadn't have, had a weekend off and like I felt like I was going to die. And now that my weekends are canceled, you're like, like why did I do that? Yeah, I'm like, F- that would have been nice to have that extra money. Yeah. Let us know if you guys are um, team self-quarantine, like you have all your shit prepped, you're ready for the end of the world, or if you are really not worried about it. Yeah, and you think that this will blow over and we'll be fine. I feel well, like it's really 50-50. What really worries me is... I don't think we have enough, like, hospital space or, like, 
I don't know, just because we don't have free health care, like, I'm afraid, like, people who aren't insured, which is, like, a huge percentage of people, like, even if they're sick, won't go to hospital because they won't want to spend the money to, like, get checked up and stuff. Mm. And that's how <laughs> an epidemic starts, you know? Yeah. I thought about buying a gun. <laughs> I thought about that, too. <laughs> I've been watching so many prepping videos, I, I really shouldn't be watching them. I know, and I also, like, really watch so out. much Walking Dead. Mm, that I'm like I've never seen Walking Dead this is this is the next step man like this seems like they were setting us up for this what if it gets to the point that people are breaking into your house to like steal your toilet paper I'll or, stab a bitch or like shit like that at least you have a taser I do I don't have a taser I was literally thinking like every time I talk to my friends about fighting to live all my friends are like nah I'd give up I'd, li- I'd get bit like I don't want to fight Really? Like, whatever. Yeah, I'm, like, the only one of my friends that I'm, like, go. A fighter? We're going to pack the car up. If we can make it, we go straight to my parents' house. They have so many guns. (laughs) (laughs) If not, my dad can get some at the Pentagon. I don't know. That is so fucking cool that your parents are military. That's so cool. (laughs) I'm, like, they'll survive. I have to find them. After I was watching all my prepping videos, I really wanted to go to, like, an army boot camp. Hmm. I would do that if I could fly it. Join the military. Actually, no. That shit... Kind of sucks. But I do, I have thought about like if I wanted to buy a gun, like I'd want to get trained on how to use that gun. Yeah. Like properly. Because it's just from purely self defense. Like, I don't know, I just feel like being a tiny woman. Gotta know how to use a gun. <laughs> that sounds, that's really sad. But again, I just watched too much Walking Dead. Yeah, I've been watching too many YouTube videos. I bought a Berkey water filter. Mm. And I'm perfect timing. Really glad I did. <laughs> It can literally filter, like, any kind of water. Really? Yeah, like, you could scoop water up from a puddle and, like, put it in the Berkey filter. Wow, ew. But, I mean, cool. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to do that, but, like, you could. Yeah. Like, when the world's ending. Mm -hmm. I'll have the water for us. It lasts, like, six years. What's really, like, killing me about all this stuff is, like, how many conflicting reports there are. Like, some people are like, oh, it's just, like, the flu. And other people are like, no, like, one in 25 people are dying. Really? I've never seen that kind of report. What? There was, like, something showing, like, satellite images of, like, Iran has built, like, graves, like, um, trenches. What the fuck? Because there's so many dead people that they're just, like, burying them in trenches. Wait. And they can see, it's so big they can see it from satellite. Yeah, but is that from the corona or is that from, like, war? No, corona. Huh. And I'm like, what? (laughs) Okay, I haven't seen that. I really think that it isn't that big of a deal and it's just like the flu and people are just freaking out. I feel like the economy collapse is the real thing Mm -hmm. and um, people freaking out, like people like panicking is going to like, like there might be like low supply in the grocery store now for a while. The whole hoarding toilet paper thing really kind of pisses me off because it just shows like how ugly people are. See, Like all for one. I don't really think, I mean, I just wish I had got to a year before. Well, it's like, do you need a whole basket full? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, they do. Because if we get quarantined, it'd be like, what, for the longest, like, a month? A month? Maybe they have a big family. Yeah, everyone in LA has a big family. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just wish that I had been the person to stock up beforehand, you know? You think everybody should share their toilet paper? I mean, wouldn't it be better if everyone had soap and everyone had toilet paper? Instead of, like, one person not having soap and then getting coronavirus and just coughing on you and then even though you can wipe your asshole, you still got the virus anyway? Yeah. Yeah, I think you got a point there. Sad times. Well, let us know in the comments (laughs) below (laughs) how you guys are feeling amidst all the chaos. I'd say wash your hands. I feel like the best thing you could do is... Just, like, keep your immune system in check. Like, get some sleep, eat mm-hmm. your vegetables, drink some water. Like, don't go partying. Yeah. Don't pick your nose. Don't stick your hands in your orifices. That's really how you get sick. Yeah. Fingers and mouth and nose, even rubbing your eyes. Like, that's why I wore the mask on the plane. More so, like, masks help if you're sick. But, like, for me, it was so I didn't touch my face yeah it's really hard for me not to touch my face yeah I have to constantly be thinking like about and, it. like wiping my eyes and stuff like that all of that Corona, give us some ideas what to eat because i think we are going to double up because we literally don't have jobs now yeah literally <laughs> working 
being independent contractors, like working on like W9s and stuff like that, like all of my friends we're all screwed. We're all screwed. Anyway. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We love you so much. And we'll see you next time. Mukbang Monday, Monday out. out.